Hello everyone, and Happy New Year. Welcome to Cyber Defense Academy. Today, we're taking a deep dive into a topic that affects every single one of us, cybersecurity. But we're not just talking about today, we're looking ahead to 2026. The digital world is evolving at a breakneck pace, and with it, the threats we face are becoming more sophisticated, more intelligent, and frankly, a lot scarier. As we integrate more technology into our lives, from smart homes to digital banking and even our cars, our vulnerability to cyber attacks grows. So, what does the future of digital defense look like? How can we prepare for the cyber threats of tomorrow, today? In this video, we'll explore the common cyber attacks we can expect to see in 2026 and, more importantly, the cutting-edge defense strategies we need to adopt to stay safe. This isn't just for tech experts, it's essential knowledge for everyone. Stick around, because what you learn today could be what protects you tomorrow. First up, let's talk about the evolution of a classic threat, phishing. By 2026, we won't just be dealing with poorly worded emails from a foreign prince. We'll be facing AI-powered phishing. Imagine receiving an email or a message that perfectly mimics the writing style of your boss, a family member, or your bank. This AI will have analyzed countless samples of their communication to create a message that is indistinguishable from the real thing. It might reference a recent conversation you had, mention a shared memory, or use inside jokes. The request will seem completely legitimate, whether it's to transfer funds, share a password, or click on a link. These hyper-personalized attacks will bypass traditional spam filters with ease, making it incredibly difficult for the average person to spot the deception. The goal is the same, to steal your credentials, money, or data, but the method will be so advanced that our current skepticism might not be enough to protect us. Next on our list of future threats is autonomous malware. Think of this as malware with a mind of its own. Unlike current viruses that often follow a pre-programmed set of instructions, autonomous malware will use artificial intelligence to adapt and evolve once it's inside a network. It can learn the layout of a system, identify its most valuable assets, and decide for itself the best way to achieve its objective, whether that's stealing data, causing disruption, or spreading to other systems. This type of malware can actively evade detection by changing its own code and behavior. It won't need constant communication with a human hacker. It can lie dormant, study its environment, and then strike at the most opportune moment, making it incredibly difficult to detect and remove. The implications are huge, as a single infection could independently navigate and compromise an entire corporate or government network without any further human intervention. Now let's discuss something that keeps security professionals up at night, zero-day exploits. A zero-day exploit is an attack that targets a previously unknown vulnerability in software or hardware. The term zero-day means the developers have had zero days to create a patch to fix the problem because they do not even know it exists yet. By 2026, with the increasing complexity of our software and the sheer number of connected devices in the Internet of Things, the number of potential zero-day vulnerabilities will skyrocket. Hackers, and even state-sponsored groups, will invest heavily in finding these hidden flaws. Once discovered, they can be used to launch devastating attacks, bypassing all existing security measures. Since there's no known defense for a zero-day exploit until it's discovered and patched, it represents one of the most potent weapons in a cyber criminal's arsenal. The race is on between attackers finding these holes and defenders trying to build systems resilient enough to withstand an unknown attack. Finally, let's touch on one of the most unsettling developments, deepfake-based attacks. We've all seen deepfake videos online, but by 2026, the technology will be so advanced and accessible that it will be used for much more than celebrity face swaps. Imagine a CEO appearing in a video call, convincingly instructing their finance department to make a massive, urgent wire transfer. Or a politician seemingly confessing to a crime in a video that goes viral just before an election. These attacks can also be used for social engineering on a personal level. You could get a video call from a loved one in distress, asking for money to be sent immediately. The audio and video will be so realistic that your instincts to help will override any suspicion. This technology erodes our very ability to trust what we see and hear, making it a powerful tool for fraud, manipulation, and spreading disinformation on a scale we've never seen before. 
The challenge will be to develop technology that can reliably detect these fakes in real time. So, with all these advanced threats on the horizon, how do we fight back? It's not all doom and gloom. Our defense strategies are evolving too. The first and most crucial line of defense is multi-factor authentication, or MFA. You're probably already using it. It's when you need a password plus another form of verification, like a code sent to your phone or a fingerprint scan. By 2026, simple two-factor authentication will likely not be enough. We'll see a move towards more robust. Multi-factor methods that might include biometrics like facial recognition or voice prints, and even behavioral analytics that verify you based on how you type or move your mouse. The idea is to create multiple layers of security so that even if a hacker steals your password through a sophisticated phishing attack, they still can't get into your account without passing several other checks. Making MFA a standard, non-negotiable part of every login process is one of the most effective steps we can take. Our second major defense strategy is harnessing the same power our adversaries are using, artificial intelligence. AI-driven threat detection systems will be the cybersecurity guardians of 2026. These systems will not rely on databases of known viruses. Instead, they will constantly monitor network activity, learning what normal behavior looks like for a particular organization or user. They can then spot anomalies in real time. If an employee's account suddenly starts trying to access unusual files at 3 a.m., or if data is being sent to an unknown server, the AI can immediately flag it as suspicious activity. It can then automatically take action, like isolating the affected device from the network or blocking the user's account to prevent any further damage. This proactive approach is essential for catching those autonomous malware and zero-day attacks before they can cause widespread harm. We're essentially fighting fire with fire, using smart technology to outsmart the attackers. Next, we have a fundamental shift in security philosophy known as zero-trust architecture. The old model of cybersecurity was like a castle with a moat, a strong perimeter, but once you were inside, you were generally trusted. The zero-trust model assumes that threats can exist both outside and inside the network. It operates on the principle of never trust, always verify. This means that no user or device is trusted by default, even if they are already connected to the corporate network. Every single request to access data or an application must be authenticated and authorized. Think of it as having a security checkpoint at the door of every single room in the castle, not just at the main gate. This approach significantly reduces the risk of an attacker moving freely within a network after an initial breach. It contains the damage and makes it much harder for threats like autonomous malware to spread and access sensitive information. Last but certainly not least is the most critical component of any defense strategy, employee training and human vigilance. Technology can only do so much. At the end of the day, many cyber attacks, from AI-powered phishing to deepfake scams, rely on tricking a person. That's why continuous education and awareness training are absolutely vital. By 2026, annual cybersecurity training sessions won't cut it. Companies will need to implement ongoing training programs that include regular phishing simulations and updates on the latest threats. We, as individuals, also need to cultivate a healthy sense of skepticism. We must learn to pause and verify before clicking on links, transferring money, or believing a shocking video we see online. Creating a strong security culture where every person understands their role in defending against attacks is our ultimate defense. The human firewall is, and will continue to be, our most valuable asset in the fight for our digital safety. So, as we look towards 2026, the cybersecurity landscape is clearly becoming more complex and challenging. We'll face AI-powered attacks that are more personal, malware that thinks for itself, exploits that are completely unknown, and deep fakes that challenge our sense of reality. But we are not defenseless. By embracing stronger verification through multi-factor authentication, leveraging AI for intelligent threat detection, adopting a zero-trust mindset in our networks, and, most importantly, empowering ourselves and our colleagues with knowledge and vigilance, we can build a resilient defense. The future of cybersecurity is a continuous cat-and-mouse game. By understanding the threats and preparing our defenses now, we can ensure that we stay ahead and keep our digital lives secure. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell.
Stay safe out there.